Finally here tonight, feels like you're seeing double. These are multiple sets of twins set to graduate tonight during a ceremony at one high school, Ridgewood High in New Jersey. CBS 2's Nick Calloway talked to the twins about their plans for the future. The stage is set for the RHS class of 2024. 30 of the grads have one thing in common. Actually, no, I never realized there were so many twins. Would you believe of Ridgewood's 419 graduating seniors, there are 15 sets of twins. We met with 10 of the pairs this week. For the most part, it's been twice the fun. I would say the best thing is always knowing someone's there for you and going through the same experiences at the same time. It's Renee to Peters and her twin sister Juliet see eye to eye on that. I agree. I think it's nice to have like a built in best friend that you can always like talk to even if it's like at home. Morgan and Cameron Anderson are identical twins, which admittedly has its drawbacks. Everyone thinks we're like the same person and it's really annoying. Most of the twins are not identical and many are polar opposites in the personality department too. We have like similar friend groups, but at the same time we do have different friends and we like to do different activities. But people tend to group us together and like compare us, which can be kind of annoying sometimes. Most of the twins are also going to different colleges. Henry Rivera is off to the United States Naval Academy. His sister Charlotte is headed to Michigan. I think I'll miss him and I'll miss having like a buddy. In the U.S., only about 3% of babies are born twins. Ridgewood's graduating class is more than double that. In Ridgewood, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. Amazing. Something is going on there in Ridgewood. The grads will not be lining up next to their twins. Ridgewood High students will go in order of height and gender.